Hi, I'm Jamie Zeller, your instructor for Bio 109 Genetics at Harford Community College. I wanted to take a quick minute and introduce myself to you, as well as show you the general layout of our course so that you know how to navigate it and find things um, and how they are laid out. So let me switch to what I call the screen share mode here so that you can see where everything is. The home page when you first log into Blackboard, now ignore that announcement at the top that was from a previous semester but if you look at the home page when you log in you will see this is kind of where all the meat and potatoes of the course are any announcement that, that I've recently posted I typically will make an, a course announcement every two to three days um, throughout the course and probably every day for the first week of the course as you're getting into it so it's important that you have your email settings or um, your Blackboard settings set up appropriately so that you get alerts. There's actually a Blackboard app that you can download and it will alert you and, and to, um, on, directly onto your phone so that you know if anything important has been posted or um, graded. Actually, it will even alert you to grade, so that's kind of a cool thing. The important information folder is on the left side menu and this is where I have a document called Getting Started. This is all about how to get started in the course and it verbally goes over all of the things that I'm uh, going over um, with you right now. It's just written out. So if I talk too fast or you don't understand me, just refer back to that document. There's also a discussion rubric and I'll show you where those discussions are. It's super important that you understand that there are two deadlines for the discussions um, and those are weekly um, discussions you'll have every week. And then of course the summer syllabus, which includes all of the details on how you will be graded as well as a course schedule. When you go into the content folder, this is where everything is. This is where all of your learning will occur. Now the books for this course um, are listed in the syllabus and um, that's what all of these chapters correspond with. So for every single chapter, I have a number of different resources. I will always have a PowerPoint. The PowerPoint goes right hand in hand with your textbook so that you will see exactly what I'm talking about in the, in the PowerPoint as well as in, the, in your textbook. And don't forget, I have recorded lectures. All of my lectures, except chapter one, there's no recorded lecture for chapter one, they're all recorded and the link for that and password are on the front page of your syllabus. So make sure you check that out. Um, I think there's one other lecture that's not recorded in the Vimeo app, it's on YouTube. And I have that posted in the chapter folder for you so that you have that. But either way, the, the chapter PowerPoint goes along with that as well as the lecture guide. They go hand in hand, right? So as you're listening to the lecture or reading through the PowerPoint, you can use that lecture guide to help fill in the blanks. Um, there's also a reading guide. The reading guide goes hand in hand with the textbook. This pulls out all of the important information from every single chapter and really allows you to sink your teeth into the material. There's one of those for every single chapter. I've also included the answers to all of the review questions in this content folder. Those review questions are at the end of the chapter in your textbook. Um, and so if you don't have the textbook, um, then you don't have the questions to, to review from. But it's just a way to kind of self-check your work and your learning. So that's why I provided them for you. And there's usually a couple videos or two to help reinforce your learning. So those are all of the tools in every single content chapter folder. There's also the assignment tool. The assignments are linked here as attachments. And then when you go to submit them, you simply click on the assignment itself, which is the I call it the black letters, right? You're gonna click on these black letters, not the attachment, the black letters that takes you to the assignment tool where you can see exactly what it's due and how many points it's worth. You can either upload it as a document or copy and paste it as such. The assessments are all under the assessment link. There's one for every chapter. You'll see that in the syllabus and they're all 10 minute timed quizzes and they all are closed book as well. The discussion link here, you see there are different forums for each chapter or week, I should say, as well as an introduction and just general review questions here. So please make sure you take time during your first week to introduce yourself so that we can all get to know you. And finally, the course messages. This is where I will be communicating with you mainly. I do check this once a day. I check my email once a day as well. So hopefully between those two methods of communication, um, you can keep in touch with me and let me know if you need any extra help. If I've talked too fast or if you're unfamiliar with Blackboard, I strongly suggest checking out that Blackboard help link on the left side menu. That will 
uh, review any of the things that you may be confused about when it comes to using Blackboard as a learning tool. I really look forward to having a great semester with you, so please let me know if you have any questions and make sure you go ahead and introduce yourself on that introductory forum. Have a great day and I look forward to a great semester. Bye!